Hi guys, so we are here with Kayla Nacone from The Walking Dead, Enid. I have to say, it's great seeing you here. There's oh, loads of you. fans here and you're really bubbly and smiley <laughs> and the atmosphere is fantastic. How do you feel when you come to the cons? Well, I love them. I go, like, it's, I'm feeling great when I go in the morning, but at the end of the day, I am just pooped and then I take the biggest nap of my life. Draining. But, yeah, yeah, but it's definitely a lot of fun to be able to meet everyone and it's really, it's a really great opportunity for everyone to come and see us as well. So yeah. it's definitely fun. Is it your first time doing a con in London? Yes, I've never even been to London before. This oh, wow. is my first time in London, and it is so fun. I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to like, come out here and stuff. So what's on your sightseeing list? Well, we already we already did our tourist days. That was Thursday and Friday, and we saw um, Westminster Abbey, saw Big Ben, um, Parliament, and then uh, the Tower of London, and then we went shopping a bit. So it's been a lot of fun. Fantastic. And so you're here obviously with The Walking Dead. And what are fans asking you most about Enid? Oh gosh. It's usually about Carl and Enid. Mm -hmm. It's either Carl or Enid. Or it's about like what's going on with her character right now. How she's becoming like more of a leadership role. Like getting more involved with the community and stuff. So it's been nice. It's, I've had really great conversations. What's the Carl Enid shipper name now? Carnid. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, I like that. The, one of them was like Earl, and I was like, that sounds like a grandpa. No, thank yeah, you. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Carnid, Carnid is what it is right now. So. And are we going to see that develop more in the season? Do you think? Um, I don't know, honestly, because they can ever they can always change things, edit things different ways. Um, but right now they're going strong. Better than they have in the past. Yeah. But it is, it is, it can always be kind of like a love hate relationship because sometimes they have different point of views on things. So it's just a wait and see kind of moment. I mean, one of the surprising scenes recently is for me was when she seemed quite sort of blase about saying bye to Carl, thinking that he was ne she was never going to see him again. Yeah. And um, do you think that was her just kind of switching off, trying not to think about it, or did she maybe not care as much? The thing, you mean when she didn't want to say goodbye? When or she, when she, yeah, when she was like, like she really was saying, saying goodbye, like, don't leave? Yeah. Um, I think it was because she had finally started to let him into her life. And that's the hardest thing, and that's always why she was pushing people away earlier. It's because she, just like losing her parents and everything, it, it makes her harder for her to let people go. And it's kind of like that feeling of abandonment. So I feel like that's one of the reasons she was so sincere in that goodbye. And what are we going to see between her and Maggie? Because it's, it's really heartwarming, it's their so relationship. I, I know. Um, she, she, Maggie definitely seems to be coming like a mother figure to her. And, they've, and Ian has been helping her out so much, too, with her pregnancy and everything. So it's a really good thing to see. If they're not mother, they're definitely like sisters. And it's just I love that relationship. It's so great. It's fantastic, but I think also what I want to know is, and I'm sure a lot of the fans are asking, is Enid going to get back in on the fighting? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Gosh, because she's, she's got some moves. Yes, yeah. I think I think she's really cool, and I think she can kick some serious butt, so we'll have to see. Because suddenly it seems like at Hilltop at the moment, it feels like they are trying to keep Enid out of things a bit. Yeah, I mean, and that's also just with her being young and she doesn't have as much experience with uh, weaponry as other people do. I mean, she has a knife and she's always had a knife, so she's probably good, pretty good with that. Yeah. Um, so it's just, she'll probably have to do some training first before she... And then she'll be kicking butt. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, have you seen Enid? She can climb over a wall. Exactly. She's good. She's parkour style. Yeah. So finally, because you've got a lot of people to see, yeah. in a post-apocalyptic world in real life, what is the one thing that you would miss the most? Mm. Probably like showers in a regular bathroom. You know what I mean? Like a That's toilet funny. and everything. That would... Oh, that would be horrible. Toilet roll. Yeah, Where's yeah. Where does come from? Just having to use like leaves all the time, that'd be Absolutely. horrible. I mean, yeah. I know that's maybe a little gross or whatever, <laughs> but come on, guys. You won't have that. Absolutely. The apocalypse. I was going to say potato chips, but I was like, nah, I can find that better than like a working toilet. Yeah, they make those now, don't yeah, they? In yeah. Like, yeah. Well, absolutely. I'm with you on that one. Yeah, definitely. That would be horrible. I could not imagine. I would smell horrible. Oh, God. I would feel disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah. to us. Good luck as Enid thank and with you. the rest of season seven. Hopefully, we'll see lots more of you. Knock on wood. <laughs>